What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Fight Life Tips and Advice. I'm your host, the Fighters Rep, pro and amateur kickboxing promoter licensed in the state of California. And this is Fight Life Tips and Advice. Uh, this is where I give you guys advice for the fight game based on what I've seen as a promoter. Kind of give you guys my input. Um, you know, that I think will help you in your career as a fighter. Also, just in your in your business in general and in life in general, all this stuff applies. But today I want to talk about, you know, ride the wave like Hamzat Chimaev. Or uh, I would pronounce it Hamza. Hamza Chimaev. Uh, I'm assuming this is the... Uh, Caucasus uh, mountain version. They they do the KH for the strong H in Arabic. Um, the point is, you know, this is an incredible talent that has appeared basically out of nowhere in the UFC. He's had two fights, right? He's only had two fights. He's gone in there. He's allowed his skills and his fists to do the talking, um, regardless of his limited English. He does speak English, which he should be commended for. Looks like he left Chechnya when he was around 19 years old for Sweden, I believe it is, where he's based out of now. And, you know, he's using his skills and his limited English to market himself. I've talked about marketing on this channel for fighters before. Uh, you can watch that video, but if you haven't, you know, if you're not posting daily on social media, if you're not selling yourself, that's half the battle and you're losing the battle. But my point with Hamza Chimaev is, you know, he, he's come on the scene. He's got this star power, man. He's got this star quality. He's got that, he's got that fascinating, you know, former Soviet bloc country slash Russian kind of cool calculated, you know, masculine demeanor that the American audience and the Western audience is captivated by. You know, it shows you that you don't have to be this arrogant kind of prick of a person to go out there and market yourself. You got to play up your qualities, right? And at this point, at this point, Hamza Chemaev's star is shining, right? He's in the UFC. He made an incredible impression. He fought. He fought some very tough people. Um, this kid, uh, Reese McKee, was supposed to be a tough prospect. Completely worked him. Uh, did it on Yaz Island. You know, a very regionally, uh, yeah, regionally friendly place for a guy like Hamza Chemaev. Being is that it's in the Arab world, being is that, you know, it's in the Islamic world. He's going to have a lot of following there. So his star right now is beaming. I mean, he's shining. He's a, you know, he's a, he's a, he's a supernova. He's blowing up. It's at this point. It's at this point that you ride the wave. It's at this point as a fighter as a business, as a person that you ride the wave, when you get that attention, when you finally get that that notoriety, you gotta ride that wave, you gotta work that notoriety, you gotta work that attention, you gotta start posting on social media every day, you gotta accept every interview that comes your way. You have to do everything you can to capitalize on your quote unquote 15 minutes of fame, right? And right now, that's not to say Hamza Chimaev is only gonna have 15 minutes of fame, but right now he's in the thick of his initial 15 minutes of fame. And he's gotta ride that wave out, man. Um, I saw him on an interview today with Brett Okamoto. The guy, you know, English is, is not even his third language. You know what I'm saying? English is not even his third language. Might be his fourth. 
He's out there talking English to Brett Okamoto, doing interviews. He's doing exactly what he has to do. He's got to get his character out there. He's got to keep playing up the uh, Habig, or, you know, that's what they're calling him, the big Habib. Um, he's got to be careful not to fall into Habib's shadow, but I don't think he will. He's a bigger guy. He's a longer guy. He's got an even more laid back, seemingly a more laid back demeanor than Habib Nurmagomedov. But this is a guy who needs to ride the wave. And that's what you need to do at times in your life. Big things are going to happen. Big things are going to happen at, at, a, at a certain point in your life. Whether it's with your business or personally or whatever. And you might say to yourself, you might say to yourself, oh man, like this is happening right now. This is happening right now. You know, and if you don't have confidence if you don't have that self-belief you might allow that moment to slip away without capitalizing on that moment you know you might be worried that oh if i capitalize on this moment right now you know i'm 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 cheapening the moment you know what i mean i'm 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 using the moment um and i don't want to come off as a user but you got to do what you got to do sometimes for your business, for yourself, right? And I'm not saying to compromise the integrity of your product. But I'm saying when that star beams down, when that attention is there, right? The way it is on Hamza Chemaev right now. You've got to capitalize, man. You got to do everything you can if you believe in yourself, if you believe in your business to push it forward, you know. You got to do everything you can to push it forward at that moment because you never know when another opportunity comes along. You never know if you're Hamza Chemaev when another Yaz Island comes along. You know, maybe he just had the dude's numbers that he fought, you know. Maybe he just had the dude's numbers and, you know, he goes in there against a more accomplished guy and gets destroyed. That's why he's got to capitalize on this moment, right? Because you never know when the next opportunity is coming and um, especially now, right? Especially with what's going on in the world now, we've got this, this bug, I'm going to call it, because I don't want to get demonetized on YouTube. We've got this bug, man. We've got this bug, and, and it means businesses going under, opportunities going under, people going under. And that's why you've got to capitalize on your opportunity, especially if it comes at a time like this. This is a, a crazy time. Most people, I mean, I mean, 75 to 90 percent of people i would say right now are in a lot worse shape than they were before this before this happened but only the strong are going to survive only the strong are going to have the confidence to ride the wave of any opportunity that comes their way if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button below the bell notification icon next to it. Join Knucklehead Nation. Uh, join me every Monday at 7 p.m. with the legendary Manny Robles for Keep It Clean with Manny Robles, the best boxing podcast in the world, man. We talk about everything. Uh, you could watch our live fights for free on this channel. So definitely check those out. We do an interview every friday with some of the best young upcoming fighters in the world definitely tune in and check that out um we're gonna have more documentaries and stuff to hold you guys over until we can do fights again definitely support the channel and the best way to support the channel is to donate to the super chat uh like comment share subscribe and to get your fighters rep gear in the link below man Get that shit. I'm also doing this series, Fight Life Tips and Advice, 
for everybody, man, especially for the fighters, especially for people in the fight game. As a promoter, I do feel like I've got an obligation to you guys. I feel like I've got something to say. I feel like I've got good advice and tips for you guys. Um, that's why I've started this series. So show your support, show your love, and it's much appreciated. Knuckleheads, tell me what you think in the comments below. I'm Zat Chimaev. Tell me what you think about him. Tell me what you think about riding the wave of opportunity. Tell me where he goes in the future. And we'll talk soon. We'll talk soon.